has the land affected me and how do I work with it? Hmm. There's, there's always two sides to every story. Uh, I wouldn't consider it a dark side and a light side, but there definitely is a struggle at times being on the land because this place really does bring up all those things that need to be cleared. And sometimes it's not particularly gentle. Um, I've had physical pain, extreme physical pain, bad headaches. But then on the, bad, the other side of that coin is I can go to my special place, which happens to be in the medicine wheel and lay down and do my own personal work and the land and my guides and me together definitely solve those challenges that are brought up by hanging out here. The land has affected me by this great expansion that I have been feeling. Um, and I'm triggered constantly in a, in a lovely way. I feel I'm getting goosebumps when I even talk about it. It just feels like there's, even when I'm not aware of it, that there's things going on inside of me and I feel this woo, 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 this much of the time and, and I can feel myself vibrating and, oh, and I get goosebumps. Just, it's, it's been profound for me, such a profound experience. Every day I remember more about who I really am and who I'm supposed to be. And it's, and it's an everyday thing. And, and also the intent here, when I set an intent here, it is such an immediate thing for me. It's just, you set the intent and it happens and I love, the flow is just constant and beautiful and the energy is, it's incredible. It's changed my life. So since I've been here, um, I've felt more things on the land, uh, I believe it, it's affected me in a good way. It's helped me rise, raise my vibration and frequency. I have a lot of stuff has not have come up for me to deal with because I did a lot of work before I came here uh, with things in my past. And it, the land's just been opening me up to new states of consciousness and it's been allowing me to climb the staircase even quicker than I would be doing on my own in a different area. How has it affected me? On a multitude of levels. Um, it's affected me emotionally, it's affected me spiritually and physically. Since I've gotten here, I've actually, I feel as though my physicality is growing younger. Um, the experiences that I've had since I've gotten here and it's not just like seeing a ship here and there or having some type of a, a experience you know randomly it's it's a constant here uh, ships every night when it's clear so forth beings use the sensitivity to energies increase but the land is really it's really helped me develop and grow on a personal level um, it's allowed me to completely awaken parts of myself that have been dormant or asleep for however long to the point of not even remembering they were there. Um, it's just an incredible place that allows you to really go within at an accelerated rate. It's a vortex, therefore it accelerates, it amplifies, it's, it's kind of like a spiritual blender in some ways and the emotion goes right along with that. But these gifts that we are given uh, of self-reflection here are profound and for anyone that's on this path a high energy vortex is some some place that you should really visit and spend some time and learn yourself again the spectrum of what to expect I've seen big purging of tears. I've seen upset stomachs. I've seen bliss hits where you laugh uncontrollably. I've seen where people have felt nothing. Um, 
it's quite a range of responses when you're first here. Some people are just come and they camp and they have a lovely time no matter what. It's a beautiful place. Other times people are ripe for shifts in their journey and the land will pick up on that and uh, often sort of tumble you around. Um, but it's not all that difficult because there's lots of people here that are perhaps a little farther along in their journey and they are more than happy and willing to assist in that process of coping with what's coming. So, If you've never been here before, I think what you can expect is certainly to see things because there's things showing up here all the time. But more than that, it's such an inward journey. And I think that you would expect to have much of your emotions and things rising to the surface. And things you wouldn't expect. I think everybody expects to see all these things in the sky and on the land, and that is true. But what you don't expect is how much it moves you inside and how the journey is so personal and, and profound. And whatever, whatever you need to have happen will happen and it will be an inside journey that, that means more to you than anything, I believe. So if you've never been to the ranch before, um Depending on how sensitive you are to energies, you definitely expect to be feeling a lot of stuff. And it's interesting the way things affect you here. If you go with the flow, it's usually pretty easy. But if you resist, it makes it that much harder and brings it that much higher to the surface for you to deal with. What can someone expect coming here for the first time? If they drop all expectations and simply allow themselves to experience, that's usually best. You're guaranteed to see ships if you allow yourself to open up to the sensitivities that you possess and again allow yourself to have these experiences. There's really no limit. Um, there's beings of all different types coming through this area because it's a gate. Um, there are higher dimensionals of all different levels coming through here so whatever your sensitivities or your galactic lineage may be you'll resonate with those energies but again it's a choice do we allow ourselves to stay in the box that we've been programmed in through most of this lifetime for many of us or do we make a choice and allow ourselves to fully once again know who we really are experience our true beings, our true purpose, and our true selves.